This episode is going to be a little rough in edges, audio and video wise, but a very warm welcome to Anna's Round the World, episode 2. There's a million little things to get done uh, the last couple of days. Get paper scanned, get your tax work done for the rest of the year. And of course the sponsors, thank you again to Schubert for the helmet at X1 in Fereccia. And stickers for Olsen who helped me with the motorcycle. And then it's just all about packing. And the important part is also getting the computer there safely. Let's see if this uh, actually <laughs> lasts all the way. And then finally here it is, KTM 990 Adventure, Adventure Edition. Today is the day of my departure. Um, a little later on today, I'm going on TV, Danish national TV, to tell about this project, and I got no clue what I'm actually supposed to say or be interviewed about. Well, I guess the project, but um, yeah, a little worried, a little excited, a little afraid, a little bit of everything. I'm starting to get nervous about my interview. Uh, hopefully I get the video offline, um, or I get the video from, uh, from the internet later on, so I can edit it in. Anders Hjort here, han har besluttet sig for. And I did get it offline, so here it is, a couple of shots from the live TV show. And uh, here in a second he asked me to put on my helmet, and that's it. I take off and leave Denmark, where I won't be back until the next 9 or 10 months. That was it. I was on the road, leaving everything behind for the next 9-10 months. My first ride was uh, to Melmö and from there continued down the south of Sweden to Trelleborg, where I took the ferry to Sassnitz in northern Germany. This is where the adventure starts. I feel like there's a hundred kilos that's just gone off my shoulders that I didn't know I was carrying around. I'm super excited again, kind of all the fear that I had there early on has kind of gone away now and I'm just super psyched about being on the road. Right now I'm leaving from Trallebo in Sweden, uh, sailing down to uh, Sashnitz, I think it's called, in uh, Germany. I'll head on down to Berlin and then in the next couple of days and weeks I'll head across Poland and the Ukraine. But before I'm quite ready to enter the Ukraine and Poland, I have to drop by Berlin and Turetek just to pick up the last couple of parts for my bike. However, my steering wheel started to shake a bit on the bike, so I was looking for a KTM dealer. Uh, GST Berlin, which is the KTM dealer here in Berlin. I just had a hand um, getting my front tire fixed. It was uh, not balanced properly, so it started to shake um, when I was doing 60, 70 kilometers an hour. And I've had a hand uh, mounting my new uh, Tortec boxes here at the back so I get another six liters and I'm pretty sure that I'll need that extra capacity especially when I come off-road in the eastern parts of Russia but here it is that's the last day uh, before I get to Poland Polish drivers have very little respect for the center line so after a while you kind of get caught up into it yourself really shitty that I didn't get this on video but I was just weighed down by someone on the highway here out of Warsaw uh, and a guy came up to me when I stopped well I didn't have any teeth or they were all crooked and he was all ah, I'm desperate for gas desperate for gas and started to take off his gold uh, rings and the armbands it all got a little weird so when they jumped out behind me 
in the car, I just woo, took off. Um, maybe I was just being an asshole. Maybe he was about to trick me into something. But anyways, it was just a strange little thing. And I was supposed to get it on this fucking video thing. But uh, this v VIO uh, recorder, the usability sucks. So I didn't get the guy who tried to rob me. Maybe. We're hit by Auschwitz Birkenau, the concentration camp from Second World War. I got a ticket, tour and parking for just under 50 slotty. That's not bad. It's a really scary place in, the, in history there. You can read it there behind me. That's the gate that so many people went through and didn't come back from. I thought this was going to be just interesting and stuff, but I got some bad jokes at the beginning, but this is kind of scary to see. It's just the Hungarian Jews, 450 pounds in spring, in summer, 44. Kind of crazy. Okay, that was uh, Auschwitz, Birkenau. A really good experience. Um, besides for the fact that you come out all gloomy and not too, not too happy to be honest, and scary as hell, and no one was smiling, but really interesting to see. Scary because everything actually seems to be so new. The house is built in in 40 or something, so they're not older than the houses we live in. So interesting place. Now it's all. For okay, so one thing I gotta learn is to get into the cities a little earlier. Now I got into Krakow, which seems to be a really, really nice city and it's really atmospheric and everything. <laughs> but it's 10 to 10 and I haven't had anything at all to eat today. So I got a really cheap hotel and paid twice as much to park the motorcycle in a, in a basement, um, a parking basement somewhere. So not the, the cleverest thing. So lesson learned, get in earlier and be prepared. Here at a random Ford dealership, I managed to get help to install new locks uh, on the bike so I could leave the boxes on the bike at night and don't have to bring them all. From here, it's onwards into the Ukraine where I just heard there's going to be a lot of corru corrupt cops now. So, in Lviv in the Ukraine, uh, I'll go out and check out the beer museum here later today, it's still open. Tomorrow, I head to Kiev, from there up to Moscow because they have the better roads. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching and all the nice messages that I've gotten. It's, uh, it's way more than I already expected, but I actually hope that it will grow a whole lot more. I found out the other day that the most famous adventure motorcyclists out there right now, they have 770 uh, followers on Facebook. So I hope that before I get to the US, we can beat that if you guys help me sharing and posting about this, uh, this project out there. Also go to honestaroundtheworld.com and check out my location by pressing my location and you can actually see my updated GPS location where I am in the world so you can send me up-to-date messages with things I should see as I, uh, as I pass them. And that's it for this time. Yes, I'll drive carefully and next time it will be Ukraine that will be in the episode and honestly I'm scared shitless about this. I had problems in customs, I have, I'm gonna have problems with corrupt officers here and the police and so on. So make sure you watch uh, next episode too when it gets there in probably two weeks, something like that. It's not that easy to get to the internet. Thank you very much and see you later.